In the first period, Western Michigan surprised Davenport with an early goal, but Davenport immediately bounced back with a long-range shot scored by Luke McCarthy and closed the first period with two goals. The second period was back-to-back, -back. however, Davenport scored another goal and the Panthers won the game with a final score 5-1. Come support us as our Panthers will be back in action this Friday for the next home game where they will face Lindenwood University at 8.30 p.m. Winning Friday's game against Bowling Green University 7-1, Davenport was able to come back strong once more on Saturday and win 8-2. John Cruz was near perfect in the net and was the backbone once more to help the Panthers with a successful weekend. Back in action this Saturday, the Panthers will face Adrian College home at Patterson at 8.20. In an active game against Lords University, Davenport came out on top with a win, having the final score being 75-71. Freshman Nick Gamble scored 18 points to match his season best and being one of four Panthers to reach double figures. Traveling away to Ohio this Wednesday, our men's basketball will be playing the University of Northwestern Ohio at 7.30. The Lady Panthers obtained their 13th straight win against Lord's University on Saturday with a final score of 75-41. The Panthers improved to 17-1 overall and 11-1 in the Wolverine Hoosier Athletic Conference. These Lady Panthers will be traveling away to Lima, Ohio to play the University of Northwestern Ohio at 5.30 p.m. The Panthers got off to a solid start when Stacey Barron set a new school record in the women's mile, timing 225.47. With time to recover, the Panthers will be back in action this Friday and Saturday for the Friday Classic at 5 p.m. located in Ohio.